Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to record another exciting uh, video tutorial using English and in this case I'm going to combine uh, surfaces and solids to create this pipe that we have here on the screen. So if you want to have the dimensions of the pipe that I'm going to use you can grab a screenshot right now this image because this is what I'm going to use. So initially I'm going to create let's see the main pipe using surfaces then I will transform that pipe or that surface into a solid, just adding thickness. And finally, I will create the start and end of the pipe using a part solid. So let's start with the surfaces. Okay, so we are in generative wireframe surface. I'm going to add a geometrical set because I want to use it to keep all my uh, operations within the surfaces so I'm going to create a starting point a point on the 0 0 0 coordinates okay so we have that point and this is going to be our uh, starting point so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to we start with the path that this, the, the pipe is going to follow. So first thing to do is a vertical line. So if we choose point, point and direction, direction will be in set. Okay. And dimension is 30 millimeters. Okay. So now using that point there, we can create uh, another line from this point so it will be a line with angle or what we can do is we can create another point which will be the end of this line and the coordinates are 60 millimeters in set okay and 50 millimeters in x well minus 50 and in y is 65 it will be minus 65 sorry okay so we have that point and now we need to create a line point to point okay we have that line there okay now we are going to continue with the next portion of this pipe which will be a line using that point in this case will be point direction we will pick y axis uh, sorry x axis uh, reverse direction and it will be 20 millimeters okay so now we need to add the radius there so in order to add the radius i will suggest you to have a plane containing these two lines and the plane where the radius will be contained. So let's create a plane or yeah, one plane will be uh, with two lines. So let's find yeah, through two lines. We can pick that one and that one. We have there the plane. We don't need to do the same here because we have the set Y plane in this case. And now what we are going to use uh, is let me just find the option with this corner option so we have a first corner between this line and this line and the support is where we will pick the plane okay yeah sorry uh, i have made here a mistake because this line is is not in this plane so i need to create here another plane so let's put these two lines. We have that plane. Now in theory, we should be able to create this corner using this plane as support. And the radius there is going to be 25 millimeters. And we can use the trim operation, activate the trim element. And now, yeah, the, we have the corner there. And we need to do the same on the other, uh, with these two lines, picking that line, and in this case, I'm going to pick the corner. And now, let's choose this plane as the support. So 
I don't know what that means. So I think it should be fine. Yeah. So we have now, let's see the uh, root or the center line of this pipe. And now we can use sweep operation. We can use a, a center and radius. So we know that the radius of the pipe is 15 millimeters internally, 17 externally. So we have one millimeter thickness. So what we can do is we can consider the external diameter. So picking that and it will be 17 millimeters. Okay, so we have this pipe ready. And now what we need to do is trim this pipe in order to have a space here to add the starting point and the finish point. So if we do here just a offset plane, so from this one it will be three millimeters. Let's make it three millimeters. Okay. And we can do the same there. So first thing we need to create a plane per a normal to curve will be this curve and this point and now we can create an offset uh, from plane from this one three millimeters as well and now we can use split operation we want to split using these two planes that we have created that one and that one okay so this is how it looks like our pipe and this is uh, the further that we are going to be using uh, surfaces. So now we need to move into part design again. Let's create a part body and make it work in object. And now let's add thickness here. So we have said that this surface is going to be the outer skin of the pipe. So we are going to add the one millimeter thickness internally. And now we can just hide this geometrical set. And here it is, the pipe. Let's now start with the uh, bottom portion. So we can use this plane. Ooh. I think I have selected the wrong plane. Uh, let's select it again. Hmm, what's happening? That one. Okay, and now what I need to do is create a circle here. I can project this. Okay, and the outer diameter is going to be 30 millimeters. Let's put there 30 millimeters. Okay, so we can exit sketch now at a path three millimeter thickness and now what we need to do is add all the holes that we have so if i pick this plane uh, this is uh, let me see so they are just circular holes uh, two millimeters diameter and we have 12 of them so let's if i put it on top view as we have on the the screen okay so it will be something like that just to understand where we need to put the first point okay so we need to put the first point there so if i use this axis it's going to be my first point it will be diameter two millimeters and it is going to be 12.50 from this line. 12.50. Oops. Uh, we have done something wrong here. Let me just go out of this sketch and see what has happened. So maybe that dimension is wrong. let me just check one second what is the okay so here it is the mistake i have put 30 of radius and it's 15 so i think i have made the same mistake 
yeah when I have defined the sweep operation it will be diameter 17 no radius so it's going to be 8.5 okay now it makes more sense so we have here 12.5 okay and the radius here is yeah that's fine Yeah, but I don't know, because in theory it should be, yeah, between these two faces. So let me just check one second what is the diameter here, it should be 15. Come on, yeah, radius 7.5, so 15. So the relationship is, is too close to the edge, so what I we can do here is if the outer is 15, this one is 7.5. Let's pick the middle point. Which will be 11.25, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it makes more sense just to have the same amount of material on both sides of the hole. I mean, this is not very, very important, but looks like this dimension in the drawing is not right at all. So let's amend this make this uh, dimension of class just to be sure that we go through the geometry and now is when we need to create a circular pattern here in this case reference axis we can pick this axis okay i don't have it so let's just pick in this case will be set axis and we want a complete crown 12 repetitions. Okay, so we have the bottom portion of this pipe finished. Now we need to go into the top one, which will be the same. So just let me check. Uh, I have done the same mistake here again. So that is the radius. Okay, and now, yeah, so now we can have here the 12.5. So that was the reason why my hole looked too close to the edge because I have picked the radius instead of the diameter. Okay, so now we need to, to replicate the same here. So if we use this. As so our support for the sketch, just project this line, create a circle. So the steps are going to be the same. Now we can do concentricity between these two circles. And again, let's put the dimension here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to be diameter, just with a new mistake again. And now we just need to add the thickness there, three millimeters. Okay, and again, same operation. Yes. Okay, let me just. What has happened? I want to create a sketch there. Create uh, where are my axis. Okay, so what I can do is just create the holder. What I'm going to do is project this geometry create a line so this point is going to be in the middle uh, let's see if I can concentricity there and now I know that this point needs to be lying on this uh, line with coincidence okay so we can we can trim this line yes, and use it to locate the circle. Ooh. Okay, and what has happened here? Anyway, let's put here the diameter. Uh, will be diameter two, and let's make this dimension twelve point five. Now we just need to convert these two lines into construction. 
and go out again okay and create the pocket same process so now we don't have our axis to rotate there so what we can do uh, we can make this uh, well what's it what's this line we can use this line as the axis for the circular pattern let's select a pocket circular pattern axis will be this one 12 repetitions uh, complete crown and here we have the pipe complete so as you have seen yeah, we have combined the power of surfaces and part design in Katia so we could have done this using only part design but I think that has been interesting just introduce some yeah practice with uh, surfaces so I hope that you have enjoyed this video tutorial I'm waiting for your comments your likes if you really like it and if you have any suggestions for future videos let me know in comments and I will try to create new videos for you okay see you guys